Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that you should know as an investor. For more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on any or all of these stories. And with that being said, let's get right into today's video. We see the general stock market performing quite well, considering that the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 are both up today, while the Dow Jones is dragging its feet. We also see Bitcoin up today as well as Microsoft and this is no surprise considering that Microsoft crossed the three trillion dollar market value threshold for the first time ever for this company. We also have to take into consideration that Netflix reached an all-time high which is great news for investors in Microsoft meta platforms as well as Netflix but the good news just keeps coming. If you like Chipotle or if you own a Chipotle stock then this is going to be a great news update for you. Chipotle wants to hire Generation Z workers, so it's offering benefits that they might enjoy. As an example, this fast casual food chain announced new financial and mental health employee perks. This would include six free sessions with a mental health professional and a 401k match of 4% if they are paying off student loans. And honestly, these are both pretty good perks of working for this company. The reason Chipotle is doing this is because they want to hire approximately 19,000 new workers, which is an increase of 27% from last year's hiring target. Basically, Chipotle is issuing new incentives for employees so they can attract newer employees that are specific to Generation Z. So hopefully this works out for them. This is also very good news for Chipotle stock owners, considering that as they hire new employees, they are anticipating to expand their reach even further. This would include opening up new stores and even giving managers a pay raise. So in general, this is very good news for Chipotle investors. Moving on to technology, stock news, you need to be aware of some of the top picks that professionals are investing into right now. And many of these picks have already been analyzed here on the channel. The author of this article, as well as myself, have bought Google, Tesla, Amazon, AMD, Palantir Technologies, and NVIDIA. However, I would also add two other stocks to this list. The first stock that I would add would be Microsoft, considering that they are anticipated to expand further into artificial intelligence and generative AI capabilities, because in my view, they are a market leader in this regard. The second stock that I would add would be Super Microcomputer. So if you want amazing artificial intelligence exposure in your portfolio, then you would want to look further into Microsoft, Super Microcomputer, Google, Tesla, Amazon, AMD, Palantir Technologies, as well as NVIDIA. If you've been following along with the channel, you know that we are up massively for these companies, and even the author of this article is also up massively, because he states that he has gained 55% from Google, 138% from Tesla, 75% gains from Amazon, 110% gains from AMD, 208% gains from Palantir, which we report on quite a lot here, and lastly, he has a 243% gain from NVIDIA. However, if the author of this article included Microsoft and super microcomputer, he would be up even more. And that's why my portfolio is beating him right now. So stick around for more news updates on those companies. But now let's move on to our next story. I have been reporting and analyzing on SoFi for quite a while now, and I am extremely impressed with this financial company. Recently, SoFi Technologies has actually pulled back in their share price to where they trade at $7.72. But despite this pullback, I think investors should actually be paying attention to SoFi Technologies right now because I think they could surge after after their upcoming earnings report. When we look at the company's financials and fundamentals, there is no reason why this company should be pulling back in their share price, especially as we get closer to their earnings report on January 29th. For whatever reason, many investors believe that their upcoming earnings report will not be very positive and they anticipate SoFi ushering in lower guidance for 2024, which will lower the share price. The problem here is that these investors just aren't paying attention to the fundamentals of this company and their past growth records, considering that they have continuously beat on their revenue and earnings quarter over quarter and year over year, thus beating expectations. As SoFi Technologies rapidly approaches their fourth quarter earnings release, and they are also anticipated to give us a forecast for 2024, I think this will be very positive for the stock. And since investors are bracing themselves for a less than impressive earnings report, this could 
actually work in our favor, causing the share price to surge if they bring in very positive results. According to this author, he believes that SoFi Technologies is a strong buying opportunity, especially as they head into their earnings report. He even has identified that this company has a strong support level of $6.50, and in my opinion, if you can get this company between $6 to $7 or even lower than $6, then you are sitting at a prime average cost basis for this company, and the sky is the limit for this company in the future. We can even look at Seeking Alpha's quant ratings, which assigns SoFi Technologies an a growth grade which is extremely bullish and positive. However, we do have to offset this with their C valuation grade, which essentially suggests that SoFi isn't expensive according to their growth potential and their peers. Overall, I am excited for SoFi Technologies to release earnings, and I do believe this company will be able to bring in a profitability for that quarter. Up next, we have a major renewable energy stock in the news today, and that is none other than Next Era Energy. They recently reported earnings, and they beat quarter four expectations and gave a very positive outlook for this company over the next three years. Next Era Energy, ticker symbol NEE, recently beat their quarter four adjusted earnings and revenue estimates, which was very positive for their share price. But the news got even better. The better news comes in the form of growth adjusted earnings per share, which will rise by six to 8% annually from now through 2026, which is extremely positive. This shows that this company is growing their overall earnings by a decent percentage basis, and it shows that renewable energy is becoming the norm now. So if you want to get on this green wave, then feel free to look further into Next Era Energy because they are performing quite well. Speaking about renewable energy, let's talk about Plug Power, considering that this stock is extremely volatile. However, they are rather cheap, coming in at just $3.29 per share, even though they have fallen around 5% today. So let's get right into it. Plug Power is a hydrogen stock that has nearly plunged 80% over the past year due to investors being extremely scared about the future of this company. They may mainly highlight that the company is losing money hand over fist, and they don't understand how this company will continue in operation. But recently, Plug Power responded to their investors, and they have unveiled plans to raise $1 billion worth of equity capital through an at-the-market program. The company is also finalizing a term sheet with the Department of Energy, known as the DOE, for a $1.6 billion loan. Therefore, in the meantime, this should keep the company afloat and increase their liquidity, meaning that maybe potentially potentially, they could continue with operations and expand even further in this overall environment. Now, for me, this is an extremely risky company. Like, the risk is out of this world for Plug Power. However, with that being said, if the company ends up achieving their plans, this company could be a spectacular investment. So you really have to weigh the risk versus the reward here. With this significant amount of funding, Wall Street analysts believe that the company will use about $1.5 billion in cash over the next two years to fund their operations. Plug Power also anticipates to use this money to grow their hydrogen network. And once the heavy investment phase for this company is completed, then Plug Power could start generating positive free cash flow. And that's exactly what investors want to see. However, the problem is that this company needs to survive until they reach an inflection point, which will be around 2026 or 2027. And according to my estimates, it will probably be closer to 2027. But if this company survives that long, their share price could absolutely become ignited and surge. The company believes that their investments will expand its capabilities to grow their revenues from $1.2 billion last year up to $6 billion by 2027, up to $20 billion by 2030. That means the growth of this company is literally going to be out of this world. However, Plug Power still has a long road ahead of themselves before they can reach that point, and it all comes down to whether or not they can survive that long. This also doesn't incorporate any potential pitfalls that could happen from now until then, but the growth for this company is literally spectacular. To jump from $1.2 billion up to $20 billion in less than eight years is absolutely amazing. So the risk to reward for this company is extremely high, and that's why I would encourage you to look further into this company. We also have seen a lot of airline news lately, and honestly, I am buying airlines on recent weakness, and here's why. Alaska Airlines recently came out with a statement that they are grounding its Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet airliners, and 
and this will reduce their full year profit by 150 million dollars. The reason why Alaska Airlines is grounding this fleet of planes is because the Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet airliners are not safe for travel. Like we've reported on before, the Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet airliner had a mid-flight blowout of a panel, and clearly this was a huge safety risk. That's why many airliners who use this had to ground these planes, which is costing them millions of dollars worth of profits. Now, the good news is that federal regulators said that they approved an inspection process that if followed by various airlines will be able to allow their MAX 9s to resume flying. But this is not just affecting Alaska Airlines, it's also impacting United Airlines, which also anticipates to lose money in the first quarter because of the grounding of these air vehicles. But it gets even worse because Southwest Airlines, even though they don't use the Boeing 737 MAX 9, they do use the Boeing 737 MAX 7s. And due to all of this news, this is actually putting Boeing behind on their delivery schedule, to where Southwest Airlines said that it will receive six fewer new planes than it expected this year because of ongoing production problems at Boeing. To make matters worse, Boeing is already behind schedule in gaining regulatory approval for the plane, which would be the Boeing 737 MAX 7 jet. So this is a very interesting conundrum, and I am actually buying these companies on weakness, but why am I doing that? For starters, we know that this problem is not something internally wrong within the company. Southwest Airlines, United Airlines, and Alaska Airlines are still great airliners. However, the problem here is with Boeing. Therefore, even though the share prices of United Airlines, Alaska, and Southwest are falling, I'm going to buy these companies on weakness. Because remember, the problem is not with these companies. The problem is with Boeing. And eventually, this problem will be remedied to where their profits and revenue will skyrocket back to regular levels and even exceed previous estimates. So I'm willing to hold these companies for at least a year, buying them at extremely cheap prices. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this strategy that I am doing. However, I am not over-allocating myself to these airlines. Speaking about the top movers in the stock world, let's also talk about Nokia ticker symbol NOK, which recently jumped by 7% in their share price after unveiling plans to initiate a $600 million share buyback this quarter. Nokia tries to focus on mobile, 5G, and cloud networks. And within their mobile networks division, the company foresees challenges to its top-of-the-line growth in 2024. So this is sweet and sour regarding this company. Now, for me, I personally am not invested in this company, but I do like how they have initiated a share buyback program worth a $600 and $53 million and 600 million pounds. In other stock news, we also saw IBM surge in their share price by around 8% both today and yesterday due to very good quarter four results and their prowess in artificial intelligence. On top of that, we also see Comcast, ticker symbol CMCSA shares, jump by 5% as the media and cable giant revealed very positive quarter four results, which beat expectations and projections among professionals. What's also interesting is that despite the airline news that has come out recently, America American Airlines jumped by 8% in their share price following its outperformance in their quarter four earnings per share and margins. Again, this is very positive. Also, if you've looked at the stock market recently, you know that Tesla's TSLA shares are falling. They've dropped by 10% following disappointing quarter four results that not only missed consensus estimates, but also revealed weak margins. In the last video that I posted, I actually told investors that I am buying this company under $200 hand over fist right now, and I anticipate to add more as the company drops in their share price because this is an excellent opportunity to buy a fantastic company and I encourage investors to look further into this company to take advantage of this opportunity. We also see multiple stocks receiving a lot of praise and upgrades recently such as a Deutsche Bank analyst upgrading Avis Budget ticker symbol CAR ticker name CAR. This is a rental car company and they recently received an upgrade for their rating from a hold rating to a buy rating and the price prediction for this company increased from $234 up to $200 $48. Now, what's interesting about this is that multiple investors actually believe that they will reach the same fate as Hertz. Because if you didn't know, Hertz has been selling electric vehicles because gas-powered vehicles are just better margins for the company. And they believe Budget and Avis will also have to liquidate some of their fleet, but only time will tell. Next up, we have a Bank of America analyst upgrading Raytheon Technologies, now known as RTX, ticker symbol RTX. We talked about how great this company was doing in a previous video, and now we see analysts following suit. Because they upgraded the rating from an underperform rating up to a neutral rating, and they also increased their price target from $78 
$100 up to $100. So this is great news for this government contractor. Next up, we see Oppenheimer upgraded Inovio Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol INO, and they upgraded them from a perform rating to an outperform rating, and they gave them a stock price target of $4 per share. So feel free to look further into this pharmaceutical company. We also saw Bank of America upgrade a rapidly growing aerospace and electronics company, ticker symbol HEI. They upgraded them from a neutral rating to a buy rating, and they left their price target unchanged at $220. Next up, we saw Truist upgrade Vericell, ticker symbol VCEL. This company produces advanced cell therapy products for sports medicine, and they also specialize in severe burn care in the United States. Recently, they were upgraded from a hold rating to a buy rating with a price target increase from $39 up to $51, and that is a lot of upside for this company. But now let's talk about the latest downgrades. Unsurprisingly, due to recent results, Tesla was downgraded by KGI Securities, which downgraded them from an outperform rating down to a neutral rating, and their price target was also cut down from $309 to $213, which I think was a huge mistake because Tesla is still a phenomenal company. Another unsurprising downgrade was Boeing, ticker symbol BA. So a Bank of America analyst downgraded them from buy to a neutral rating, and they reduced their price prediction from $255 down to just $225 due to this whole safety fiasco that's going on right now. For more downgrades, we saw Deutsche Bank downgrade Humana, ticker symbol HUM, which is a healthcare company, from a buy rating down to a hold rating, and they reduced their price target from $595 all the way down to $360. So this company really got hit hard, even though I personally still like Humana. This is another company that I anticipate to buy on weakness, despite increased healthcare costs. Last but not least, we also see Deutsche Bank downgrading Hertz, ticker symbol HTZ, which is a car rental company, from a buy rating down to a hold rating, and the price target fell from $16 down to $9, which was a huge blow to this company. Regarding the latest news for initiations, pay attention to Bloom Energy, because BTIG initiated coverage on this company, and they gave them a buy rating and a $21 price target. And if you know, Bloom Energy is a company I personally hold in my portfolio, and we also talked about them a few videos back, so feel free to check that video out. Bloom is becoming a very prominent hydrogen company as they further adopt this technology, and I think they will gain momentum from now until 2030. So feel free to look further into this company, and with that being said, that concludes today's stock market news updates. For more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, go ahead and become a member of this channel as well for as little as 99 cents because that's what keeps me here on YouTube, and with that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I'll see you in the next YT video.